Uh huh. Sounds good. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that should be any problem at all. You just get out there and win some more Super Bowls there, Terry Bradshaw. Tell you, the job of the lawyer, which I am, is never done. Uh, what can I help you with today, sir? I had an appointment. Oh, uh, yes. Now, you're not the first client I've had to defend against indecent exposure in or around a public ball pit. Uh, the cannibalism charge is probably going to stick, I'm afraid. But I am confident I can get your uh, sentence reduced to 30 years death penalty max. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mr. Cameron with the Union of Fancy Farmers? Right. Here it is. Ah, uh, so your union membership numbers are lagging and you want to get them boosted. Exactly. We've tried some grassroots movements to show the benefits of unions in our area. No luck. We just want to know, from a legal perspective, what other avenues we have. Have you tried screaming at people through a bullhorn while they work? Uh, no. I was thinking of filing a lawsuit, allowing us to send an email blast to non-union uh, workers. Don't waste the time. Try screaming at people while they work through a bullhorn. It's what us lawyers call uh, really loud and annoying. Well, glad I could be of help. I'll have my uh, secretary send you an invoice. Tina, I'm gonna need you to send an invoice to a uh, Mr. James Cameron. Make it for uh, 400 million billion dollars. Uh, your plan sounds a little brash. Do you have a more lawyerly suggestion? Hold on, it's in here somewhere. Oh, is it some sort of legal loophole? There it is. Camel jerky. Care for some? Uh, no. Are you sure this plan isn't, uh, illegal? That's the best part. For farming unions like yours, totally allowed. As your lawyer, I advise you to trespass onto these farms and just really let them have it. That can't be right. As long as you're an agricultural union and you're not on the property more than three hours a day, 120 days a year, you are totally protected by California law. That's plenty of time to scream at those workers through a bullhorn till you go horse in the throat. You should start practicing. I'll go first. <laughs> Do you have a less screamy route? I've been in this lawyer game a long time, kid. I got files here, a briefcase, everything. Just trust me on this. But I get it. You don't want to go with the bullhorns. Too subtle. You want to go bigger. Bigger? I guess. Say you got one of these farms that's uh, not giving you the time of day, right? Right. So you go down to this non-unionized farm, right? Uh-huh. You organize. You gather up some of your most loyal unionites, right? I like where this is heading. And then, this is the best part. I'm excited. You all use bullhorns, and you scream at those workers until they join out of fear. Again, with the bullhorns? Darn right, bullhorns! Come on, man. I got a pile of these things. I got to unload 50 bucks a piece. Sorry, I'm late, Mr. Cameron. I got caught in a dough. Junior, glad you're here. Dad, what the hell? I told you, no more legal advice. Legal advice? Pfft. I've almost sold this young man this fine bullhorn here. Yeah, I just needed guidance on how to expand our union, and he's advising me to unleash a mob of bullhorn-wielding loudmouths. Technically, what he's saying is, uh, legal. Really? Huzzah! Score one for Team Bullhorn! Scaring people into joining? That's not something that the Union of Fancy Farmers is interested in. Uh, no, please, Mr. Cameron, my father was just on his way out. Hey, what I told him that wasn't completely legally sound. I know that, but you're disbarred, remember? That bad boy there says otherwise. Oh, good God. It's like I've always said, Junior, when all else fails, Bullhorn! All right. So how much for the pallet? Shh. I'm on the phone with the president of America. Yes, Mr. President. How's Nancy? 